could be a little bit hard. I've got a lot of feelings about this. Kia ora, my, my, my name is Maya. I've grown up here all my life. Waiheke is my home away from home. My entire education is on Donald Bruce Road from kindergarten to Waiheke High. <laughs> That's it. Um, and I've gone down to Kutiki Bay as a child, doing what kids do, going across the rocks looking for crabs. Um, I'm sorry to those crabs that are traumatized. <laughs> um, and I've been down at Kutiki Bay during when, when all this has happened, when this destruction in the bay has happened, and been absolutely astounded at what has been allowed to happen down there, both with the development and with the behavior from those developers. They have put their hands on our kaitiaki, on our rangatahi, on our wakine, and they are still there and nothing has come of it. How is it that they have been able to inflict so much trauma on so many people and they are not being held to account? Why are they still in that bay destroying it? And why are we finding out that Doc had opportunities to step in, to write a submission, to do something, and Doc chose not to? Now, a couple times a night, this night, it's been mentioned that Doc's system is broken, and while I largely agree with that, I also believe that Doc was never designed with the intention to protect our environment. It was designed with the intention to uphold capitalism and colonialism, and that is true. But long before you came here, Kitty, I understand that you are one Māori in a, in a colonial system trying to make do with what you have access to, and I understand that. But our journey with Doc has been abysmal. And one thing after another that happens with Doc that we find out about, it's, it's just so disappointing. Anger doesn't even begin to describe how I feel. Last year, a friend, my friend Nalia here, uh, sent an OIA to DOC asking for correspondence from the Department of Conservation to you. And what we received back was analytics done on our social media pages. Months, months and months of following Protect Portuguese social media page and some of our own personal social media page. To the point where you or whoever decided, made this decision, had actually identified some of the people who commented the most on our social media pages. I want to know who... I want to know who made the decision, instead of actually coming down to the bay, instead of actually holding a community meeting like we are now, instead of actually having an open, open and honest portal, I want to know Sorry, are you listening? Cool. I want to know who made the decision to perform analytics on our social media page instead of coming here and speaking with us or even coming to the bay and observing alongside us not only during the day but also at night when the kōrera are coming home. I want to know whose decision it was to put time and effort and resources into that decision.